Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle, and today I've got a very anticipated video for you guys. It is my cottagecore dress collection. I haven't exactly figured out if, if this is entirely cottagecore or if this is softcore or whatever core it is. I just know it's my pretty frilly flowy dress collection that I didn't realize was so massive until I was like picking the dresses out of my closet and just more and more kept coming and I know I've got my summer clothes stashed away right now and I know there's even more in there so um, I hope you guys appreciate the dresses in this video just as much as I appreciate each and every one of them seriously these are my absolute favorite things to wear like you you feel adorable in these dresses like it's it's not just a dress it's like a way of being when you put one on <laughs> so I'm super excited I'm not gonna ramble in the intro I'm gonna show you the dresses and try them on because that's probably why you clicked on the video in the first place <laughs> so the first dress I have is this dress from Sheen um, it is definitely one of the most like cottage quarry dresses that I have it falls almost maxi length it is little women in a nutshell like when i wear this i feel like i am on the set of little women i am the fifth march sister seriously the color is so pretty it's actually unlike a lot of the other ones i have it is really cottage core to its essence in the sort of flowers the the milkmaid line the different embellishments and the sort of like corseted uh style waist which just means it's like in and then flows out at the bottom Seriously, so cute. The one thing I'll say about this dress, and you'll see it when I try it on, is that my boobs just aren't big enough for it. So I love it and I want it, but I need to somehow figure out maybe if I can like sew a line here and like cinch it in to like make it fit a little bit better. So this is the first dress. This is the little women dress. Okay, see what I mean about it just not fitting my boobs properly? So what I am thinking is that I would just sew a line in like that and just ruch it together. And it already looks so much better when I do that, right? Don't know where I will ever wear this dress because it is it is almost cottage quarry to a costume-ish effect. Actually, I could wear this outside in the summer. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Would I really care if it was a little bit too costumey? I don't think so. Cause look, um, I'll even try and show you the bottom. I, I do want to stress just how long it is, but I can wear it and it doesn't touch the floor and I'm 5'2". So I think that that should make you feel better if you do ever consider purchasing this dress. Again, it is on Sheen. I also do have a giant bow in my hair. Um, so kind of goes with the cottage core vibes. I got the bow at Primark when the world was still open and I didn't have to online shop for everything. The next one is an old favorite. Actually, I still remember the very first time I posted this on Instagram. I had very many DMs about this dress. It's an urban out out outfitters, urban outfitters dress. That's like in a gingham pattern, which by the way is like staple of cottage core is to have the gingham pattern. So it's this like midi length dress with just a slit in the side. But what's awesome is the back is like an open back that ties up. So this is like my favorite go-to dress in the summer. I just slip it on, but it's not the summer right now. I do live in Edinburgh, so it's, it's definitely not my normal Canadian winters, but it's not like cottage core dress weather unless I like throw on some tights and like really make it work. So a lot of these dresses I just like stare at every day and just wait, wait for when I can put them on again and walk out the streets and like have this is the only thing I'm wearing. So this is the Urban Outfitters dress. Um, something I love about it is that I don't need to wear a bra because I mean, I don't have to. It doesn't necessarily mean that everyone would not have to, just a disclaimer. Um, but it's just because for the back you're able to tie it up however you want it so you can like put it as tight as it can so like you're you're a little bit more supportive um, but the back is probably one of my favorite details in the dress to begin with it's very open which is awesome because it's got such a high front and like just little subtle sexy details like the subtly sexy waist the subtly sexy the not so subtly sexy huge slit in the thigh um, and then the subtle the not so subtly sexy back detail so yeah I am uh, just the color of this dress too there's something about this like brownie yellow that's so like summer girl moment I really I'm a big fan I'm a big fan of this one <laughs> this next one is pretty classic cottagecore it's the one that I think most people do in a sort of like mainstream way just because it's it's a classic and it's an easy one to get. This dress is actually from Dynamite. It's just this white midi dress that has a 
sort of cool bustier details in the front and then it's got this slit in the leg and then yeah it's got like little scrunched on the back just to keep it together and then it's a sort of like linen material which is really big in the cottage core trend it's very like light flowy airy this paired with just like a simple cardigan is just like a super cute look and it's a very versatile dress like you can like literally just wear it or you can wear it with so many different things and because it's just that plain white dress it goes with so many other things i think you can already see a pattern here in the silhouettes that this video is really creating they are very much tight on the waist and then a little bit flowy with a leg slit actually it's got to be in like 80 percent of the dresses i'm showing you today that have a very similar silhouette to it the one thing i'll say is that it has this weird like line in the back right underneath where the zipper is that bunches so it's pretty but I am a little nitpicky about that I do I do try to always brush out any line <laughs> throughout the day whenever I wear this dress but because of the way that it fits me there's no way I would want to get rid of it even if I had this part of the dress as a top I think would be just gorgeous I paired it I mean, I wear this every day. It's my little opal necklace I got from Etsy the other day. Um, I ended up buying my friend one too just because it's her favorite. Uh, it's her birthstone and her favorite stone and it's just my favorite stone. Um, I think my birthstone is topaz, but I just love opal so much. So I paired it with that and it just goes with like every every little number that I wear. Okay, and then the next one I have, I actually just showed it in my very last video because it's another sheen dress. It is this little milkmaid dress that's sort of like a brown and little like little tiny flower embellishments it's so soft like it is such a little soft girl it's flowy it's light this one is one that's a bit more mini in comparison to my most of my dresses in this video and i just love the way it falls i love the look of it it's so 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 cute so cute okay i know i showed this in my last video but i wasn't gonna not show you it tried on in this one as well Seriously, just falls like a little glove, like a little little flowery glove. Don't look at the dresses I have on my bed. Those are for future us. Right now, just admire this one. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I seriously love the silhouette that this cottagecore vibes gives, and I love just the dainty colors on this. I'm I'm always obsessed with pat pastels, but this is sort of like a like it's soft tone brown, soft tone neutrals that I am just getting into now and realizing how pretty they are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this dress. The next one, if you guys follow me on TikTok, you will know um, I was bad, I was good, I made the best decision of my life and I bought a dress in three different colors. Um, it is this dress from Sheen. It is this, like, t like the most perfect milkmaid dress ever. Um, it is this sort of like off the shoulder ruche detail with the little corset middle of the dress. It's got this little like bow at the front. It's got this dramatic slit in the leg. So this is it in pink. Okay, I think of the three that I have this in, this one um, is the one I am the most likely to reach for and I simply think that that reason is because it's pink. <laughs> Um, and it's just such a happy color. Um, you can see by my bedspread, you can see by my room. Um, genuinely, pink just brings me joy. It's one of my favorite colors. I can't choose a favorite because they all bring me various levels of joy and different reasons. Um, so yeah, this is seriously so pretty. I know that you can also wear this um, not off the shoulder. Like, I know you can wear it like this, which is also a beautiful look. Like. Like, geez, which one would you rather? They're they're both so beautiful. Um, but I do prefer wearing it off the shoulder. A little Disney princess moment. Little Lily James in Cinderella moment in this dress. This is her, oh my gosh. This is her, like, before she meets the prince, before she gets the gown. Or it's Elle Fanning in Maleficent. I just, I love it. It falls at such a great length. The slit um, is very, very, very high. So it definitely, um... Definitely can be fun with the wind. <laughs> and then here is it in blue. Blue is actually the very first color I bought it in. It is Cinderella E Blue. My most viral video ever was wearing this dress. So um, I love it and I have serious attachment issues with this dress because I think it's even missing a button now. Yeah, so like the middle button came off, but I had like six million people see me in this dress. So I have this weird complex with it that it's like, if I wear this, I am, godly no 
Seriously, it's just one of my favorites. It's very Cinderella, and I'll try it on now. Okay, maybe this one is Lily James's Cinderella, and then the pink one, which is right down there, is Elle Fanning's Maleficent, uh, or Sleeping Beauty, Aurora, that's her name. Guys, they're both so beautiful. Ooh, don't drop the camera, don't drop the camera. They're both so beautiful in such different ways. So they're both the same pattern, but there's something about the color that just changes it up so much. Oh my God, I, uh, if I could just wear these every day, maybe I should move somewhere warmer just so I can like wear pretty dresses. I moved from Canada to Scotland and the weather is infinitely better here, I'll give it that. But I could move a little bit warmer and be able to wear dresses like this all the time. So, see you soon, LA. That's my next stop, Australia. No, uh, I'm a winter girl, who am I kidding? I love these dresses, but I am definitely a fall winter sort of soul. And then the last color I have it in, maybe not cottage Cory, but I did, I did just need to get it in black. I got it in black. It is, it's so funny because the way the colors, the different colors are with this dress, it like changes the mood completely. Because this dress is so like cool pirate girl. It's very like dark. <laughs> witchy vibes, whereas it's just the same dress that I literally just said two seconds ago. It was like Cinderella vibes and was like cute and adorable. So um, yeah, it's not entirely cottagecore unless it was like witchcore. <gasps> it's witchcore. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is the pirate look or the witch look, however you want to see it. Actually, with the opal on my neck, the little crystal plus a black dress. Ooh. Um, is very much a, a witchy look. Look at that. Oh. oh my god, who is she? Tell me, comment your favorite. Comment which one you like the most, whether it's the pink, the blue, or the black, um, because I love all of them. They just give me such different vibes that like I genuinely could wear like one for three days in a row, like what different one, and still feel like content and happy because like it would feel like a different outfit each day, a different vibe each day, a different character persona I take on based off the shows I'm watching at the moment. Who's this one? I don't know. She's giving me some, some Earth love as a human vibe right now. And then a pretty similar style is the sheen dress I got quite a bit ago. It is this sort of red. Is this really cottagecore or is it just because it's like the milkmaid with the rouge top and a midi length dress? dress. Actually, maybe it is coated to It's very summer girl. So it's well, actually one of my favorites. It's my go-to dress when I just want to feel like hot because it accentuates my waist really nicely, goes off the shoulder. Um, I've made a million TikToks in this dress and I seriously cannot wait for summer again just to wear this. Do you see why this is like my go-to? By the way, I took my bow out. It was getting hard to try dresses on and not take the bow out every time I like took one off and took one on. So seriously, this silhouette is rockin'. It is rockin'. You know, this body underneath hasn't changed in all the dresses, but somehow this silhouette has changed drastically. And I really think that it's just because of the like floofy ruches that like draw your eyes up in and then out again. Oh my God, it's seriously my favorite thing. Oh my God, this is like the red dress moment that movies have. Um, I was gonna say a great first date outfit, but yeah, let's go for the red dress mo moment that movies give you. This is the, um, what was it? What movie was that with uh, Amelia Clark that she walked in and he was like, I just wanna be like a guy standing here with a girl in a red dress. <sighs> Tell me what movie that is. I don't wanna sit here for like an hour thinking about it. Me before you, me before you. That's what this is, the red dress moment. This next dress is actually a dress at many sites sell this dress. I originally bought it from AliExpress, but I know they've got it, um, I believe Sheen has it, I think that Romwe has it, all the like mass produced Chinese websites have it. Um, and it is this very pretty little, almost like, like a purpley, bluey sort of shade. It's gorgeous, it's a little tight, so it's not something I reach for on days when I know I'm like, out all day and eating all day, but it's just so pretty and delicate that I would never part with it because seriously, look at this color against my skin tone and I'll just wear it like this and this is the style. It's been a while since I tried this bad boy on. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. This is gorgeous. Oh my God. When would I, I'm like, oh my God, I'll wear it to my next, um, 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 like nothing. It's, it's, we're in lockdown again in Scotland, so there, there's nothing I would really be able to wear it to, but I just wear it doing the dishes, you know, doing my grocery shopping out in the cold, just like shivering, but being like, but it's so beautiful and I need to, I need this on me. <laughs> yeah, holy 
Trig. Uh, guess I'm monetized now and I can't swear on my videos. Oh my gosh, it's it's like it's gorgeous. I don't want to take it off. I don't want to try on any others. I mean, I know the others are beautiful, but damn, this one makes me feel really gorgeous. Um, everyone deserves a dress that should make you feel this way. I actually did just invest in three different white cottagecore dresses. I got them all off AliExpress. Um, just because I wanted to see the quality of them and see if I would genuinely like them or not and then whichever ones I didn't like I would just Sell or I would just give to a friend or anything like that. I think I ended up liking all of them So I have a lot of white Frilly milkmaid dresses, so I guess I'll, I guess I'll show you them instead of just talking about them There is nothing more cottagecore than a white Frilly dress like this it comes with these like giant puff white sleeves. Oh, I just want to wear this. It's like almost like a little bride, but like like a daughter of the bride kind of moment. It's got these little like embroidered details, this rouge middle. Oh, it's so, it's so pretty. I'm so happy that Bridgerton is really popularizing the like renaissance look-ish, um, that it's a bit more like, like corsets and pastels and puff sleeves and square necklines and I just I'm so obsessed with the trends that are going on right now they are trends I've been waiting to come back in style forever and this dress just amplifies all of those okay this one is such a fun one maybe I should have put those away before I turn the camera on but we've already started so I'm not taking it off this one is just so like so dainty so fun let's try it off the shoulder I haven't tried this one off the shoulder yet yep well there it is oh. These dresses are absolutely killing me. This one is just so comfortable too. I can't get over just because this material is like the stretchiest material and then it's like flowy, soft airiness, just like balancing against your skin a little bit. Oh my gosh, seriously, I'm so lucky to be able to own all these dresses. I would highly recommend going out and buying some more dresses that make you feel as good as I do in these ones because it's so important to feel good in what you're wearing. And then the next one I got from that little spur is this one. It's almost like a more neutral version of the dress I literally just showed you. Like it's got the same sort of scrunched in rouge top to it with these huge sleeves, except this one's quite a bit more uh, length to it. So it's definitely a lot more midi. I do think that it could probably use um, a steam. I haven't worn it yet since I got it. I got it so recently. So I think I just need to steam it before I actually decide to wear it out of the house. It's just another good one. Another Daphne. I forget her last name. Guys, this is actually my first time trying this dress on. Um, I love the way the sleeves fall at the side in a like lower way than just me forcing them off the shoulder. They're definitely meant to be down here. Actually, let me try to put them up. Maybe they're not meant to be down here, but I feel like for me, they're meant to be down there. This is a little too puff sleeve. What do we think? Actually, it's pretty cute. Very Bridgerton vibes. Oh my gosh. Put these back down. So yeah, obviously it can use a bit of an iron or a steam, but I kind of think actually the little ruche or the little like lines in it makes it a bit more like antiquated looking. So yeah, it just the ruffles are really pretty. This one is definitely a staple. Oh my gosh, this is like the staple cottagecore dress. So I'm very glad to have it in my collection. Oh my gosh, wow. Actually, <laughs> sorry, this is the first time I've tried it on. So of course I'm giving it a second look because I haven't really even given it a first look yet. And it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, the sleeves too and the ruffle along the top, those details make this dress. And of course, like the last one, it is very comfy because it is literally just these stretchy ruche and then a flowy dress. So it's just like wearing a nightgown, wearing those old like vintage nightgowns that you just like flow around in and they've got feathers on them and I totally need to order myself one. Okay, and then the third one of that is also a dress that if you follow me on TikTok, you will have definitely seen because it is this white poof sleeve um, little mini dress with these like huge sleeves with this huge tie on it and um, I know what you're thinking that the last three dresses I showed you were kind of the same but they're not and that's the whole point of them. Also if you love something so much then like get it in every style and every color because I love a little white dress moment and I love a little white poof sleeve frilly like just dancing in knee-high grass with wildflowers all around you in the summer and the sun's like a warm haze and you can like smell the flowers because that's what those dresses represent to me and that's why I own so many of them. Yeah, maybe 
Maybe this one's up there too. They're all up there. Genuinely can't compare which one's my favorite. This one, I love the little string details. I need to figure out how to tie them. Maybe I'll tie them before I put the dress on. But yeah, this, oh, does it want to be off the shoulder? This like double little roll and then the little flare out, it makes it very, um, almost like Japanese, just the like structure of it all. You can see like a little apron and it's very much anime. Um, and I just, I love it so much. I love all of these. I love the, this is my biggest poof sleeve I think that I own with the dresses. Um, and it's very, it's very like delicate, but dramatic in the same way. I think that's actually gives a really good definition to the way that most cottagecore dresses are. So yeah, this is, this is the last of the three white ones. Um, you can get these on AliExpress or Depop. Depop is a great place to grab dresses like this just because so many people buy them um, and aren't a huge fan of them. So Depop has a plethora of cottagecore dresses, just a heads up. If you feel more thrifty, if you want to thrift your items instead of buying them from AliExpress, Depop is an option. This one I was really, I'm not hesitant about showing you, but I was like trying to figure out if it was cottagecore or not, uh, but I figured I would show you it anyways. It's one of my newer dresses, I actually just got it in yesterday from ASOS, um, and I will do an ASOS haul because I did get quite a lot of other stuff in, but it's this sort of, actually, I live with a girl from Moldova and she tells me that it's the Russian school uniform or the, um, Soviet Union school uniform. <laughs> it's this like little mini dress that's got these like huge puff ruffly sleeves and then the back is just tie up so I can wear this. I think more cottage core would be to wear this with like a white turtleneck underneath um, and then more like summery almost like Japanese kawaii vibes like more Studio Ghibli-ish is to wear it without that underneath or maybe to wear it with one of my poofy dresses underneath. <gasps> That's too much power. Oh my god. I feel like this is pretty cottage cottagecore. Now that I have it on, now that I'm like, oh my god, I, I could look a little bit like a fairy. By the way, I just threw my hair up in a clip um, because it was getting in my lip gloss. <laughs> so the little like sleeve details, so much fun. Look at that. It looks sick. <laughs> and then you can see really here, it's like, oh, I can't say business in the front because this is not very business. It is like fairy in the front and then like dark fairy in the back because the back is all... Um, it needs to be tied up, so what's awesome about it is depending on your size, it can really fit no matter what because you tie it to your adjustment. So yeah, this is definitely something I can see paired in the winter with something else and then worn in the summer just like this. It's that cool plum color that I've been really obsessed with. Also, oh, maybe maybe not entirely, but you can just peek my tattoo out from this guy. So seriously, adorable. I am going to do an ASOS haul where I like link everything. Um, that I recently bought off ASOS, so you'll definitely see this one up there, but oh my gosh, this is so cute. I don't, I don't wanna take this one off, jeez. <laughs> I don't wanna take any of them off, um, but sadly I just can't lay around my house in pretty dresses all day, which I think a lot of you might assume that I do most of the time, and you're right. And then another one that you will see in my ASOS haul, I guess, is this sort of like 1940s. Maybe this isn't, no, this is pretty cottagecore. I, you know, there's so many crosses and different definitions for every like trend that goes on, but I feel like in my soul that this one is a very cottagecore dress. It's a very 1940s gardener dress. It's just got this like beautiful button downs and then embroidered neck and fits me like a dream. Um, so I'm very excited to try this on. And it's comfy. Like the fabric's soft and comfy. It's by ASOS. It's one of the ASOS design dresses. And it's just like the color is really like soft, sweet. All right, guys, finishing off strong with the last dress of the video. This is the little kind of cottage quarry, more vintage 1940s dress. That's made modern obviously because of the length but i really love the way the waist works and the way the like cut is it just is a very flattering cut with these awesome little balloon sleeves there and this coral color is something i i don't have any of in my wardrobe but it's a very flattering color and a very like summery pretty like soft color this is definitely more of a soft girl aesthetic maybe than cottage core but i could be wrong so i love the little like embroidered flowers that are all along it and then the long buttons that train your eye all the way to the bottom <laughs> of the dress and then the back follows along the same pattern in the fact that it's got those little those little embroidered flowers along the entire thing and I guess I can show you the neck a little bit closer so you can see just the little simple maybe not so simple the details along the neckline yeah that's it for my cottagecore dresses let me know which one you like let me know um what your dream cottagecore dresses literally let me know everything about 
cottagecore life and your what dress you would buy if you had all the money in the world. My dream dress is from House of CB. I'm sure a lot of you already know what I'm gonna say. It's those, I think it was the Garden or Le, Le Jardin collection. Um, that is just so, so beautiful. That's like, I will always go and check it to see if it got, has gone on sale, but even when it goes on sale, I just can't afford the like 200 pound price tag on it. So I I stare at it in awe and wonder and I'm so excited for this summer's collection from House of CB because I'm sure because of how heavily popularized that collection was that they will remix it again for this year. And I'm so excited to see that um, because I loved every single piece in the Le Jardin collection or Le Jardin. Uh, oh my God, I've got a hot neighbor. Huh. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you see, like subscribing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.